What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out a game called Outpost Glacier. A snowy survival game where we're going to walk around the tundra and hopefully survive. Just survive. We've got cloth from over- oh, apparently I just get cloth straight from the bush right there. Just like nature intended. Well, let's see here. So we can drag things around and we can throw them inside of our crafting. Okay. Sounds good. I don't think I want to do anything just yet. It seems like we've actually got pretty decent clothing to begin with. We've also got some big old magnanimous booties right there. Like, look at those boots. Got them big old clog stompers right there. What is that, scrap iron? Yeah, I'll take some scrap iron. Sure, why not? I see a beacon over there. We should probably go for that. We got a pillar of hope. I have no idea where I am. All I know is that if I don't find shelter soon, I'm going to freeze to death. All right, well, let's go find some shelter then. I don't want everybody having blue toes out here or feeling like I'm not looking after their best interests. After all, I am the player. That gives me the ultimate agency. So we'll head that. Uh oh. What just happened to the weather? Why did, why did the weather just get more disgustinger? It definitely just got more disgustinger. Ooh, jelly berries. I'll take those. Jelly berries sound good. That sounds absolutely, positively delicious. Yeah, more jelly berries, too. I'm going to grab everything I can while I'm out here. We're on our way to base, but that doesn't mean we can't be pragmatic in the process. As long as we still got it inside of our eye line, I'm going to try to grab some resources to make us a little bit safer as time goes along. Can't do anything with that log right there. I can loot a little bit of wood from there. It's minus 35. Where are we right now? Good Lord. What is it, like the Midwest? God, it's so cold out here. I dislike everything about this situation. I need to go find myself a nice indoor place that's maybe got like some hot cocoa, maybe some chili, or like some cider or something. I don't know. Anything to make me feel better about this. Looks like there's other little beacons over there too running off in that direction. I do like the snow deformation. That's pretty cool. Yeah, make some, make some little footprints over. Can I jump? Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right, all right. We made like a quadruple U right there. It's like a double U, but better. It's like a double U, but way better craft. It's like a master crafted W, okay? That's all you need to know about that. We got a few more jelly berries over here for when we get hungry. I don't know how we're going to get water. I assume we're going to need some kind of like water purifier or something. We have a new objective. The tower seems to be offline. Let's find the powerhouse, okay? I'm going to loot around a little tiny bit first. It looks like when we sprint, our temperature maybe goes up. That's what it seems like to me. You need a cable connector to interact with this object. Okay, what is this? Is this anything important? It's a 3D printer. Oh, it needs to be attached to the tower in order to work. Sounds like a plan to me. So this game is very, very early on. This is pre-alpha versions of the game. It says alpha version 1.04, but when you're logging in on the main menu, T to show off my dance moves? Oh, my God. Oh my god, dance move, son. Dance move, son. Let's do another one. We can floss. Ah, there we go. Okay. Can't have a game without that. And then we can just close the tab off. All right, so you need to turn on the tower to access the upgrade menu. Drag and drop items to the cargo box. Okay, so we can store stuff inside of there. What can I do with crafting? Can I do anything interesting? I can make a wooden handle. I can make a snowman. I don't know why I'd want to do that. But let's make a wooden handle, I guess. Can we make any kinds of, like, tools or anything right now? I guess not. All we have is like the axe handle. All right. Well, I'll put that back in my inventory. So we need to find the powerhouse and we need to pull a lever. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Apparently, we got the place up and running. This place is full of relics. I wonder what the machines outside can do. Let's find the crafting table. Okay, but do I need to supply this thing with any kind of like... Oh, it needs metal to be upgraded. Understandable. Okay. Well, let's see what we can accomplish here. So what is the 3D? We got to attach it to the tower? Okay. So you need a cable connector in order to attach that. What other stuff is around? So we've got another cable attachment right there. It looks like it probably uses some kind of system like Astroneer, where you basically just daisy chain everything to like a central thingy. This machine needs to be connected to power in order to work. You need the cable connect. I don't have a cable connector. Where do I find a cable connector at? Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we found a cable connector. So now we can hold that. And then maybe, yeah, there we go. Okay, so it said that it had three capacity inside the building. Where's the socket on this thing? I don't see the socket anywhere. Socket. Socket. Apparently the socket is just on. Oh, there it was up there. The plug was at the top. Okay. So we can smelt resources over here. 
So let's say that I put scrap iron in there. It looks like that thing flies to work, and it's probably going to make us some kind of, like, steel bar or something. What do we have going on over here? So we've got a 3D printer. It looks like we can make all kinds of buildings and things. We can make, like, a loot scanner. We've got an axe. We've got a shovel. We can have carbon, apparently. We've got an iron sheet. We've got iron nails, copper wires, and then jelly berry seeds. Okay, so we've got options that we can do things with inside of here. I think it's probably a good idea that we do so. Let's make another haft or two, I think. We'll click on this. Yeah, let's make another wooden handle real fast. I want to make at least like an axe and like a shovel before we go any further. What is that right there? Scrap iron? I'll take it. So how are we doing on smelting over here? Are we doing good? How many of these does it take to make one bar? Two. Okay, so we've got three more bars coming. That should be enough to get us an axe and maybe like a pickaxe. Which hopefully will get us settled on. Is there anything just like loose and laying around out here that I can get my hands on? Hey, this game had my this game had my interest. Now it has my attention. Okay, uh, there's one random snowman out here who seems really really stoked to be alive. I would too in this kind of weather. This is peak snowmanning weather right here. What happens if I eat the jelly berry? Does it do anything? Nothing. Okay. Well, it was worth a shot anyways, just to see what meters it filled up. I wonder if there's going to be bad guys or enemies or anything, or if we're just going to be, like, by ourselves out here. A blueprint and some stone. What does the blueprint do? Like, what do I do with it? A currency that can be used to unlock new crafting recipes in the research machine. Oh, nice. Okay. Acceptable. And we do have a few more points of interest out in alternate directions. I wonder if there's fall damage. Let's find out. There is indeed fall damage, although it seems to be somewhat slight. It doesn't seem to be as bad as it could have been. Now let's run on over here, and we will grab our smelted resources up and out of meh. Put that in the old backpack. There we go. So that's inside my backpack. Actually, I can put most of this stuff inside my backpack just to keep it up and out of the way, I think. Oh, I didn't want to drop that on the ground. I'll pick that back up. I do enjoy the fact that I can see my own body. Uh, for some reason, it's weird to me, but whenever I play first-person games, I like being able to see my own body. I don't know if it matters to most people, but for some reason, it matters to me. I like being able to see my own body. All right, so we've got wooden handles and stuff. Let's go make some tools. They want me to get... I should make an iron pickaxe. All right, well, I'm about to do that right now. So I'm going to make a shovel. and I'm sorry, I'm going to make that. And then I'm also going to make... An iron pick. There we go. So we have both of those things. We have a pick and we have an axe. Looks good. We also, if we do another, did that actually complete the quest? I should craft an iron axe. Go get some iron scrap. Okay. Well, I can mine with my left click right now. I'll try to pick up the scrap while we're out and about here, but I'm trying to maintain line of sight on the tower. Oh, cool. There's like critical zones. Nice. It's acceptable. I like that. So if you hit like a certain spot on it, I'm going to take a rough guess and say that maybe the developers are Fortnite fans. Because doesn't Fortnite have something like that where, like, there's, like, critical points on the stuff that you can, like, mine or whatever where you get, like, bonus materials if you do it fast enough? Is it Fortnite that I'm thinking of? I don't know if it's Fortnite or not, okay? I have no idea if it's Fortnite or a different game, but it seems to me that another game has done that in the past. There we go. Apparently, there was rocks inside of there, too. I don't know who's running around putting rocks inside of Santa bags out here. But uh, apparently, they're doing the public service. What does this do? Can I mine that? Oh, you get a little bit of ice out of it? Do I want ice? I assume that ice is probably good for my hydration. It's probably what I need. Yeah, give me, give me, give me the bonus ice over here. Give me all that bonus. It's something to do while you're mining anyways. I do actually like the critical point system. Little things like that and skill checks or whatever when you're doing repetitive tasks, like just like smashing something with a pickaxe, I think are always a good idea. It just gives you something to focus on rather than just being like, I suppose I'll hold down left click this entire time. I don't know, maybe other people feel differently about it, but I feel like it's a good addition. Oh, we'll grab some cloth from over here. There's another loot box. So we got some snow and some bandages. Very nice. Do we have something else over here? Oh, there was a loot box down inside the snow. Oh, maybe I can just loot the snow. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know if I need the snow right now, but I can loot the snow right now. All right. Well, let's continue grabbing ourselves a little bit more ore while we're out here. Aw, oh, no critical points. 
There we go. Perfect. Nice. Get that double yield. All right. Let's run back. I don't know exactly what we need to be worried about as far as our body temperature goes. Uh, it's not super clearly delineated to the player right now. Like, how cold is too cold? You know what I mean? I mean, I'm out here. I'm in these streets. I'm trying to craft and do awesome stuff. But it's hard to tell. All right. So pick up the pickaxe from the output and equip it. I think I already did. There we go. Perfect. So we've completed that part. A loot scanner will make it easier for us to find loot underneath the snow. Oh. Okay, so that's something to consider. We do have a lot of copper ore in here. Might not be a bad idea just to throw that all in there and let it smelt for right now. I think it's going to take a while to get done. So I see no reason not to at least be... Not to at least be somewhat productive while we wait. And so anyways, we have iron bars... Melt the copper ore into... So find iron ore. It wants me to collect some iron ore first and foremost. And then it wants me to turn copper into copper bars, which I'm in the process of doing. So maybe we'll find some iron ore over here. There we go. Perfect. Lots and lots of iron on this side. Apparently this side of the base is iron. The other side of the base appears to be mostly copper. Perfect. Oh no, dude. I broke my pickaxe. That was so rapid. It was so rapid and unnecessary. Does this thing get warmer as I get closer to it? Oh, it does. Nice. So that thing actually outputs quite a bit of heat. Can I smelt multiple things at once? I feel like it's a valid question. So we've got the scrap iron inside of there. Did I just drop that on the ground on accident? Yeah, I was going to say. I feel like I dropped that on the ground on accident. So we put that inside of there. It looks like it can only smelt one thing at a time. So we'll give it a minute and then we'll dive back in on it. All right, so we got some iron. So at the bare minimum, what we can do over here is I think we could probably craft up some goodies real quick. We've got a fabricator. It's going to require copper wire and sheets and all kinds of other random stuff, which I don't have. Uh, let's go ahead and make another copper handle. And then after the copper handle has been concluded, we will grab the iron pick because our other one broke on us. Our other one done broke it on us. There we go. Another pick. Apparently our last one was really, really fragile, but then again, we built it out of, like, earth minerals that we pulled directly from the ground, so that might explain a whole lot of things. Uh, we needed to get some copper bars as well. It looks like most of my copper bars are done, so I'm just going to take those, and then we'll throw the remainder of this stuff inside of here. It appears as though we might get a better yield on iron from ore than we do from scrap. Let me look real fast. Yeah, it is. It's one for one. Very nice. Okay. I just wanted to see what the conversion rate was that we had going on. So inside the 3D printer, we're going to need some copper wire. Can I make copper wire right now? Oh, I can. Nice. Okay. Yeah, make me some copper wire out of this stuff. We've got plenty of wire. Like We've got loads and loads of copper laying around, so I see no reason not to. All right. Our copper wires are done. That means we can make our loot scanner, which I'll probably put in like my three slot maybe. That sounds pretty good to me. you got to be careful about the things you choose to put inside your slots. All right. Oh, I can just scan with C? Cool. I found resources. Did I? Did I? Did it ping it anywhere or something? I don't I don't see anything being pingied. I may be wrong about all this. Yeah, dude. Chop some wood. Do your thing, brava. Do your thing. And then over here, it looks like we've got like a... All right, we'll mine some minerals then. Let's go explore. Let's have an adventure. It looks like there's another direction off on that way. It wants me to make a fabricator. Probably grab some of these goodies too. I can still see the red dots off in there. I want to know what that is over there. That's what I really want to know. But I'm like kind of scared to be away from home right now. I don't even know if freezing to death has been fully implemented into the game just yet. But... I will say this, they've got a solid idea going right now for like a pre-alpha build. I like what they've got going on. It's a little bit rudimentary and simple right now, but that's okay. It's a pre-alpha. That's what a pre-alpha is. And it's free. You can just go download this. Like, you don't have to do anything. You can just go download this. It is what it, you just go download it like right this second. You don't charge you or nothing. All right, we'll make some sheets. Let me see what's going on with our crafting queue over here. This stuff's got to be done, right? Uh, it is not done. It is not even nearly close to done. It's trying really, really hard, but it's not quite there yet. All right. We'll keep smeltering away. Uh, let's see. So I need four sheets. I need five of that, and then I need some springs, too. 
All right, let's get two springs rocking. So we'll spring those on up. It doesn't look like I have a research bench or anything else just yet, but it does look like there's actually... Oh, there's a hunting rifle, too. Ooh, okay, so maybe there are going to be enemies out here. It's a little concernificating. Did I not get my springs? Where are my, where are my springy boys at? Iron springs, a component for crafting things. Did you make the springies? There we go. There's the springies. The springies have now been sprung, apparently. I may... Oh, I got to open and close the crafting bench to update it. Okay, understandable. Little hitches that we're running into, but I want to see what's up with this fabricator. All right, so where did the fabricator go? The fabricator's right there. Can I put that anywhere that I want to? Oh, nice, I can. Okay, so let's put the fabricator right... I don't know which way the fabricator faces. I don't know. I'll just put it right here. Looks like the plug needs to go around the front, but that's all right. We can do this. There we go. It's been plugged in. So, fabricator, what do you do? Doesn't look like I can be interactive with it. Uh, so, we could press Q to read for more information. Oh, that's the end of their little tutorial. Okay, the second tower somewhere to the southeast has a snowmobile. Well, if I knew which direction was southeast, I don't know if the sun is accurate in this game. Doesn't look like it's moving too much. So what is the, did the fabricator, like, unlock more recipes as to what I can build? Is that what it did? No. It did not do that. So... Oh, there's a console right here. There's a console. Okay, so we can build a furnace. We can build a research station. But I think I'm going to have to upgrade this place first. Like, that's what I think is going to have to happen is that we only have three power connectors, correct? Yeah. So unless we're going to start daisy chaining things, I think we're going to have to upgrade the tower. I'm going to throw some of these things inside the cargo box just so they're not clogging up my inventory. There we go. I like to function on, like, a lighter inventory. That's just me personally is I can't stand a messy inventory. Drives me up a wall, but I think we're going to have to have a little bit more iron to upgrade our main tower. It'll be cool if the graphic changes. I'm actually kind of looking forward to seeing if the graphic's going to be any different when we slap that all in. So we've got 11 bars right there. We've got 12 right there. Okay, so we've got 11 iron bars. That means we can upgrade this guy real fast. So let's go do that to give ourselves a little bit more power capacity. <laughs> There we go. We upgraded the tower. We've got a bigger heat signature, and let's look. We've got 16 out of 20. It didn't give us any more plugs, which is kind of a bummer. I was hoping we get a few. What's the next upgrade? The next upgrade looks like 10 steel, maybe? I don't know if that's the next thing on the list, but it appears to be what they want me to get, so. Perfect. All right. Well, let's go explore a little bit. I mean, I feel like we've done what we're going to do in this area, and it's time for us to go get a few more raw materials. Perfect. Oh, there's a box? A bandage? Sure, I'll take a bandage. I don't think the scanner is actually working right now. It doesn't seem to make anything flash or, like, flare out or do anything interesting that I've seen so far. There are those beacons over there. Maybe we'll follow these red beacons and see where those take us to. Maybe it's like a loot cache or something that'll have something nice inside of it. There's really no way to know unless we investigate it, is there? Let's head on up and walking in a winter wonderland. Splatty singing Christmas songs in February. Because he is a savage like that. Is that a dinosaur? Dude, there's a dinosaur over there. I wonder if it's friendly or if it's mean. I bet you it's mean. There's a dinosaur, though. Let's go talk to it. Hey, you. What's going on? You want to be my pet dinosaur? Would you like to be best friends with me? What is that, a tauntaun? Dude, that's totally a taunt. Hey, hey. You're looking at me kind of scary right now. I don't really like what's happening, man. You're looking at me kind of creepy right now. Just chillax a little bit. So it's like a chocobo tauntaun. It's like a chocoton. That's what I'm calling it from now on. It's called a chocoton. That sounds mildly dinosaurish. Maybe we can catch one later and ride it. How cool would that be if you could find a big one and you could just ride it around like Star Wars style, dude? 
Just ride that thing all over the place. I would do it. That's way better than a snowmobile. A tauntaun? Absolutely. That basically makes me Luke Skywalker. Or, even better, that basically makes me Han Solo. I'll take both of those things. It doesn't appear as though we really need to feed or water ourselves as of right now. I don't think the game really... <gasps> snowmobile! Oh my god. Yup. That's a snowmobile. Does it have storage on it? I wonder if it has storage on it. Oh, dude, nice. This is going to make exploration so much easier. Uh, does it have like a little storage bin on it anywhere or anything? No, it doesn't? Okay. Well, I was hoping, but sometimes when you hope for things, you don't get them. We've got a box right here. Do I have a flashlight? I do. So we have some more research points over here. I'll definitely take those. Oh, this is just all research right here. Sweet. Somebody was doing their homework out in this area. Somebody was doing their calculus. Okay. Oh, that's part of the... I guess that's part of the decorations. I can't really do anything with that. I was going to chop down that tree, but I think the tree is part of, like, the pre-rendered area. Mm, get some iron over here. Might as well bring it back with us. I think we're going to need a lot more iron bars in the future. All right, snowmobile. Let's see. I see something up on the hill over there. Let's go see if there's anything up on that hill. Let's see how, like, vertical this thing can get before it runs out of steam. Seems to have some okay torque on it. Well, I was wrong. I lied. It doesn't have okay torque. Its torque is diminutive. Maybe if we go up sideways? Yeah, there we go. That's what we needed to do. We'll just do this like you would do it in real life. Which is you kind of like hit it at an angle like that so that you can maximize the amount of tread you got going on. Oh, dude, did it run out of gas? Why did I get kicked off? Is it the tree's fault? Die, tree! This is clearly your fault. Why am I getting kicked off my snowmobile? I don't understand. Snowmobile, what happened? Can I push you, snowmobile? Eh. Oh, I think there was a loot node under the snow and we ran... Why is there a gold statue over here? What is that? Is it like a vista where I can look out over the... Oh, so it's like a marker point? So maybe they put those in because later on they're going to have some kind of like Assassin's Creed style system to uncover the map or something. Maybe. Who knows? But there's definitely a gold statue of a little dude overlooking over here. I can't hit it with an axe. That is ineffective. And so I think we just have to assume that maybe that's not for us right now. We did get research points, though. Our base is back in over here. Oh, no. I made a mistake. We appear to be in one piece, though. Like, that was some sick air. Is there anywhere else I can get some sick air at? Let's get some... Aw, oh, dude, that was... That was not sick air. That right there was actually the opposite of sick air. That was sick frozen water. Uh, let's go over to this side. All right, just kind of mash my way through here. This is definitely a more effective getaway vehicle for sure. Oh, I spun out. Apparently, we didn't have the traction that we needed. We're out here, you know, isoplaning. It's pretty fast on an open field, though. It's pretty speedy. It's also got a plug on the back just in case you need to, like, gas it back up, I guess. So that's a good idea. Uh, let me store some of these research points that we got. And some of these other little knickknacks we got laying around. Um, I would like to put you guys in there. Yes. All of you guys go to the inside of the there. Exactly. And then you guys go inside of there, too. And then I guess I'll put my excess wood inside of there, and I'll just make a mental note that I don't really need to farm wood right now. I would like to fabricate and build a research station if we can. What's it going to take for the research station? Like, what's that going to cost us? So for a research station, we need four iron sheets, we need six wires, and four springs. All right, I think we can start that off. Um, I only have one wire, so we need, like, five of those. We need like one more. Oh, I don't have the iron for the sheet. Okay, we gotta smelt. We gotta smelt a little bit. We gotta smelt it on out. Uh, we got some more copper right there though, which is pretty rad. Definitely take that. I think we uh, lost resources right there. Throw them on the ground or something. Yeah, I don't think we got full dispensation of the research. Uh, I don't think we got the full copper. Wasn't there more than that in there? 
I mean, I'll take the tenner. That's fine. The ten spot works for me, but... Was it six iron sheets? Is that what it was? Let's have a look. So we need four iron sheets, and then we need two springs. Okay. I can do this, but we gotta wait for it to we gotta wait for it to smelt on out. This is Outpost Glacier. For a pre-alpha, I'm pretty stoked about this actually. It looks pretty cool. It's got an astroneer type feel to it with all the different power stations and things that you've gotta hook together and kind of the calm, snowy world that's out there. As of right now, it doesn't appear as though you really have to deal with any of the survival mechanics or whatever. It seems like it's more or less just a sandbox for you to hang out and craft and to get yourself acclimated with the game. But check it out, I'll have a link for you down below. This game's completely and totally free. You can go buy it for your, I'm sorry, you can go download it for yourself right this second. If you don't know who I am and what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. I'll see y'all tomorrow with something hot and fresh off the skillet, but up until then, I got nothing else for you, so take it easy and don't work too hard, everybody.